Well, I made it. I wasn't sure I'd get here to Stanton in the morning because it's just been torrential rain. But I thought, you know, it's the last hit on the location list, so I really want to see the stone circles. Here we've got the cork stone, the Bronze Age. It's quite bizarre because I want to look at all the prehistoric, not prehistoric, Neolithic, Bronze Age, all of that stuff. But I also want to take photographs. I should have done this as a Tudor travel, shouldn't I? <laughs> How can I get best composition out of that? It's a nice, it's called the cork stone. It's got some climbing hooks on it. Look, there's a kind of, they've quarried away the stone here. Do I take a picture of it with the water, with the trees in the background? Or do we get a shot of it with no trees in the background? And that sky, yeah, let's set up. <laughs> Got my brolly, just in case. It's been raining, let's put that on the tripod. Now I mentioned in one of my other videos about trying to squeeze too much in all in one go. Um, but would it have been worth coming up to Derbyshire and doing two locations? No, it wouldn't. Yes, I could have done th two or three days. And I've got something planned for tomorrow, which is the um, Pride and Prejudice video that I want to do. So it's squeezing it all in today, isn't it? Right, we've got some people walking by, so pause. Are there a couple of new ages going to the stone circle? I might see them in a minute. We've got empty boxes, which is bizarre. Not for me to judge though. If that's flo what floats their boat, then that is fine with me. I can work with that. I have got this, isn't it wonderful? I've got kind of rolling countryside in the background the cork stone and the tree, kind of like the tree, it would be a shot like this, wouldn't it? I'll take this shot, but then I'm just going to walk down the path there because you get a vista right across the, the Darley Dale, as, as it's called, just prior to Matlock. And then we'll take a left and go and look at the stone circles. Let's get this shot. There's the sun. The sun is up there and it's covered, covered by sky. So it's washing down that way. And it's washing the background, so that's quite nice. On my knees, on my knees we get. <laughs> Just checking. I'm going to put the cork stone on the right hand third. There's a tree on the left, nothing in the middle. That's quite nice. Only because I'm here and it's, you know, I'm not a portfolio photographer, am I? I don't take my images and make something fabulous out of them, although I ought to, because I enjoy doing it. This video is not sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> if you want your own website, don't look at me. <laughs> Go and watch a Henry Turner or a Thomas Heaton or a all the others that are sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> I know, I know, you need like hundreds of thousands of followers before some big corporate organisation are going to pay you to advertise their product. I've said it many, many times. You know, if it's your income, then that's what you need to do. But on that subject, someone said to me, hey Tudor, I've seen some adverts on your videos. At time of going to press with this video, 418 subscribers. So I started this morning at 416 and I've got two more. So hi, new subscribers. I don't know who you are because sometimes subscribers keep their identity secrets. <laughs> they don't want to be known. Maybe they're ashamed of following a low subscriber count channel. <laughs> However, if you're getting adverts, on my videos, and I'm not monetized, 
then YouTube are doing their, you know, hidden terms and conditions that say, we have the right to put adverts on your videos, even if you're not monetized. I can get monetized if I get a thousand subscribers. So please hit the subscribe button. Get me up there. I've got it on my main channel and that's going swimmingly. <laughs> So yeah, I do apologize if you're getting adverts. I have no control over that. It's YouTube doing its thing. Maybe you could send an email saying, we would like to complain that we've got adverts on a channel that has got less than a thousand subscribers. Please give that channel some money. <laughs> right, look at this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want you to look at the sheep doing a Henry Turner there. Let's stand up on this little ridge here. I get myself up, give you a 360 here. This is Stanton Moor and it is bleak. There's clouds rolling in. And then we come along here and we get this vista of, that's Matlock in the distance. Come on camera do your exposure. So you've got Darley Dale down there and then Matlock and you've got the rolling countryside with the sun streaming down. I don't think there's anything worthy of a photograph more than just taking a shot of the clouds. In the trees up ahead is the Nine Lady Stone Circle. Let's go and see if there's a plaque and maybe a bit of information. But it's all on flat ground, so I don't think I can get an aerial shot. Maybe one day I'll get a drone. Mm. Although I couldn't fly it in weather like this because it would go <laughs> disappear. Right, I'm gonna head over there. Stone Circle, here we come. And so we arrive. I've seen a lot of um, tents rigged up. Look, there's one there. So we've got capstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think if I was to stand over there or up on the lane up here, and you've got these boulders, look, up the lane. It's almost like a mini Stonehenge where you've got a, a I don't know what you call them, leader stones or something like that. But here we go, let's have a look here. Nine Lady Stone Circle. A special place was created by the earliest Bronze Age people around 4,000 years ago. Although the people who built and worshipped at this site are long gone, its excavated atmosphere remains. Stone Age, Paleolithic. Mes Mes Mesolithic, Neolithic, Bronze Age, oh, Mesolithic, 4000. Bronze Age was actually 2400 BC. 700 BC became the Iron Age. So that's what it kind of looked like, I guess. Oh, that was 1882, and they built a protective wall around it. Center Circle, North Circle. Nine ladies, South Circle, and the Corkstone, where I was taking a photograph. I walked down here and then walked back there. I think coming back, I'll just walk along here. I don't know what the centre circle is, but it's fascinating. And here comes the rain. I'm glad I brought my brawly. So shall I take a shot? Something scared the um, scared the sheep. Oh dear. I hope it wasn't me, or I hope it was me. Maybe it's something spooky and spiritual. I'm running out of power now. I'm trying to get as high as I can. <laughs> I 
I'm definitely going to incorporate her. She's just fixing her shoes at the moment. Maybe she'll do a dance for me. I've got water on my lens. Yeah, I'm going to conclude this video. This will be the, the last shot. Rain is coming back. Oh, maybe she's getting taking her underwear off. This is a getting a bit personal now. I shouldn't be taking photographs of it. <laughs> By everything inside, live and breathe. I've never seen anything like it. But here comes the rain. That was bizarre. I didn't expect to see that at all. <laughs> so it looks like she's clutching her stomach as if to say, you know, let me be fruitful. I'm just speculating. <laughs> I will say that is the end of my Derbyshire adventure. I managed to cram in lots and lots of locations so thank you so much for tuning in watching my escapades up here in derbyshire as i hold this brawly to try and stop the wind from blowing the rain in my face i'll see you in another video thanks again bye for now and finally i put my microphone away so you're gonna have to rely on the dji for the volume there's someone whooping out there this is strangest place. It must attract people who are spiritually inclined. You can get quite spooked around here, <laughs> as you saw from my photograph and the tent. But is that a lifestyle and way of life? I'm not going to judge. <laughs> it just makes for a, a rather unnerving experience Stanton in the wall I will have put all the what three word locations on all my videos and I will include it for here probably did at the beginning anyway it's not awful look at all these birches silver birches it's a rather pleasant walk may I suggest that if you come here you do it in the daytime and maybe not alone. <laughs> I'm a big guy, I can look after myself. But... Hey yeah, I had to add that in there. It's a rather strange place, full of, I wouldn't say spiritual feeling or anything, because I'm not feeling anything at all. People obviously are drawn to this place. watched all my videos. Thank you very much. See you again.